Hi gang, Mr. Ed here for another episode of Mr. Ed Makes, and in this episode it's part two of a previous episode where I made this game, Pack Race, in AppleSoft Basic and JavaScript by Joshua Bell. You can find links to the website, to the emulator, uh, in the description of this video, and there's also a info card to the previous video. So I'm going to just jump right in here. When I first did the video game, uh, in a previous video, it was bare bones. It was just basically, here's something to play. And uh, since it was a good start, I thought I would just build on it. It took a life, took on a life of its own. So I, I created an intro screen, and then a player's guide, and then some demo gameplay that uh, you get to see here. And maybe I'll be able to demonstrate some of the things that are going on. There's a blue ghost in the center. The red ghost eats the blue ghost. It hides the holes in the floor. Now Pac-Man's going to have a harder time finding his way down. If Pac-Man eats the blue ghost, then it drops the the edges, the walls drop down so that you can go through the edges. And the ghost doesn't like to go through the edges, so he'll double back on you, so you have to watch out. As you eat dots, it adds to your score. As the ghost eats dots, it takes away from your score. And there is a um, maximum number of laps before the game ends. And ideally, you'll want to complete those laps before the red ghost does and if you do it'll end the game and then your score is your bragging rights if the ghost gets down there before you do then you still have your score as bragging rights but you really didn't win you know it's just the game's over so one of the strategic things that you can do and I'll demonstrate it here as soon as it uh, restarts so once the demo play is over it goes back to this uh, intro screen if I hit enter then it's going to pull up uh, choose your gameplay I'm going to choose uh, the most challenging, of course. Now, some of the strategy here is to um, try to get a, a, a couple laps or two ahead of the Red Ghost, and that gives you kind of a little bit of buffer so that you can give up one of those laps for a chance to collect more dots. It's going to give you more time to collect them. And you can see after I've eaten the Blue Ghost, I'm now vulnerable. The Red Ghost touches me. I, I die and I only have one man so you don't want that to happen and one of the advantages that you gain when that happens is that you can go through the walls you can go through the edges and wrap around warp around to uh, evade so I kinda made that I didn't want Pac-Man to get trapped because I didn't think that would be very fair for the player so I wanted to give you a chance to always have a way out and that's one of those strategies for that I'll just do some gameplay here, and I'm going to try to earnestly get a high score. So I'm going to try to eat up the dots before the ghost does, or at least be eating dots while he's eating dots so that we can kind of stay the same. Now he's going to get this lap already, so I might as well just try to get as many of these dots as I can while I'm able to without being eaten. Oh, goodness, see, I had, I almost, uh, almost lost it there. If he had changed his mind which direction he was going, I would have been a, a goner. So um, in this level now, the, my strategy is going to have to change because he's starting to get ahead of me in laps. So I'm going to have to worry less about eating dots and more about getting to the bottom. But there's still strategy there because you can take a path that gives you the most dots in the time that you have to eat those dots. And there you go. Game's over. So 18,000. And we were tied in laps there if you want to count that in your bragging rights and that was on skill three. I'm going to try um, the first one. And you can see there's more holes in the floor so there's uh, the game goes by a little bit faster because you can get down to the bottom faster and it's harder to get to dots because they're broken up by all these holes in the floor so you're going to score low um, as far as the number of dots you're eating but you're also going to be able to get to the end before the red ghost is able to take those points away. So there, you know, there's a difference. The game, it's not really more challenging or less challenging. It's just a different type of strategy that's going to be employed in order to optimize your, your scoring. And I made it to the end five times, and the game is over, and then that's my score. So I think I'm going to have to change the number of laps, the maximum laps, on the first game since it goes by so fast. Maybe increase it to ten. So um, that's pretty much it for this game. If you guys want to see here, I'll try to pull up this um, 
Now I entered into the game or into the the intro screen too late, so then it's cycling through all of this business here. It has to initialize variables as it's going through these different screens. There's a reason why it pulls them up the way that it does. I would really rather not do that. When you hit enter, I want it to go to the skill screen so that you can get on with your life. So here there's kind of a medium number of holes. You still have a chance to really score big. The ghost, I think, is going a little faster in this one. So you have to be aware that uh, they're going to get ahead of you in the laps if you get too busy collecting dots. And plus, it's, sometimes you want to get to that blue ghost just because you don't want to. You don't want the floor to be hidden. <laughs> you want to be able to get to the, the bottom without having to just randomly. Now you could just simply you know, kind of back and forth through the game. Any child could play this game. That's what's I really enjoy about it is that. A, if, if you're not very good at video games, you might still have a good time. You know, with the OCD of eating dots. I always liked that about Pac-Man was just eating the dots. I could have just had the game where it just went around with no ghost chasing me, just eat the dots, you know. So I'm going to just finish this one out, and I'll call this a video. You guys are probably wondering when am I going to get back to... Um, doing art, more art like wall art and sculpture and drawing. Uh, I'll, I'm going to get back to that here maybe next week. I hope to. Uh, I, I kind of move around in my interest because I don't like to get burnt out. I Sometimes I just lose my muse and I have a, a creative block in certain outlets so I just have to move to something else until that comes back. So that's kind of where I'm at here. And also I really love computer programming. It's a, an enjoyable thing. It's kind of like crossword puzzles. People love the challenge of crossword puzzles. I love the challenge of computer coding and, and figuring out logic and trying to make things happen. So I wanted to share that as a creative thing. You know, it's, it's Mr. Ed draws, but it's kind of really more Mr. Ed makes too. So, and I've noticed uh, I've had a few new subscribers. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Taking the time out of your life to stop by and see something different. I hope that you enjoy. And, um, if you want to be notified, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and that way you get a notification to see, is this a, one of the videos that I want to watch? You know, if you're just in for the dry erase, then you'll get a little notice and be like, oh, it's dry erase, I want to see that. So uh, be sure to do that. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. I forget to do that a lot of times when I watch videos, and I, I feel bad afterwards, like, man, I wish I would have hit thumbs up. Or also, if you can't remember if you've watched the video or not, if you thumbs up it, then that's going to let you know that you've watched that video. I know sometimes it has like the red bar or whatever that tells you you've watched a video, but you know sometimes it doesn't. So hit the thumbs up there, and uh, it'll let you know that too. And leave a comment. Also, I love I love comments from my viewers. I love replying to comments. If you have questions, I love answering those. So be sure to leave those as well. I feel like I've prattled on enough in this video, but I just wanted to share a lot of information with you. And um, also. I'm really happy with this game. I feel like you know, I've put a lot of work into it, really, and probably more than I had time for or should have done. But I, I just want to inspire people and let them know that you can take simple things. You can take things that don't seem like they have as much value in today's world. And it, with, uh, with creativity and imagination, you can elevate those into something interesting. And I always want to be an inspiration for that that force because I don't want people to be bogged down in this notion that you have to have the best things that you have to have access to all the materials and to all the tools in order to affect your vision it is great to have those don't get me wrong and when you do have those it can really elevate it even further but try basic try starting small and do something really elevated with that and then when you do get the tools and you do get the resources you can really knock it out of the park and that's kind of like the message I want to send out most of all so um, I guess that's it, and until next time, you guys, I love you, and take care.